Hello and welcome back everybody to the Bio Reef. I hope everything is going well. It's early March, but I recorded this update at the end of February 2024. Things have been going really well with the tank and I actually went ahead and purchased another Kick-Ass SPS collection for the Waterbox 180. May have went a little bit overboard, but <laughs> I now have a total of 35 different SPS uh, in my system. Uh, <laughs> there's a lot of money involved. <laughs> don't, don't tell my wife. <laughs> money? What money? No money. <laughs> they just came with the rock honey <laughs> okay so today i'm going to show you a top-down tour of uh, these cool sps but before we start i just want to make a couple of important announcements uh the first is i'm very thrilled to report that the channel has now reached over 9,000 subscribers yay uh thank you so much for all of your support i really do appreciate it uh, these last uh, couple of years have been really tough with the tank going from one disaster to another, but hopefully things will stabilize and I could get back into releasing regular videos for you. Uh, we should do we should do something to celebrate. So the last few milestones, I, I did a live stream with some friends and I did like an Ask Me Anything uh, segment. Uh, but do let me know in the comment section what uh, we should do for uh, celebrating this uh, 9,000 subs. Uh, we could do a live stream, uh, another live stream if you want, or maybe uh, do a special video on a topic you're interested in. So uh, yeah, you decide, let me know. Uh, the second announcement is about my fish collection. So if you've noticed the last few videos, uh, you don't see my yellowtail tamarass panda anywhere. Uh, but don't you worry, uh, panda is uh, still alive. Uh, she actually turned into a male. Uh, now, I've never seen what a yellow tail tamarind rat looks like uh, in, in, in male form. So uh, when Panda started changing on me, I was a little bit freaked out. I first thought she was sick. <laughs> I was worried. Uh, she hid a lot during this transition, so I couldn't see her. I, I really was uh, worried that she might die. Uh, but uh, here is a few pictures of the male uh, Panda eating. Uh, it's I'm not sure if this is the final kind of uh, terminal male colors, uh, but right now, Panda looks a bit drab, so hopefully he gets a bit more colorful. Uh, anyway, uh, now you know what uh, these fish look like when they start changing sex. Uh, another fish announcement is that you'll notice that I have two new races. I have uh, Blue Star uh, Leopard Grass uh, Piano, and I also got a Blue Spotted Anamapsis Rass. Uh, she's really pretty with those uh, blue dots all over its body. Uh, she, uh, you know, is very active. Uh, she took to uh, pellets and frozen food right away. So I'm uh, really happy that I managed to get her into my system. Uh, I do have some uh, special plans for adding, you know, a holy grail type uh, ras that I've been waiting for a very long time to get. Uh, I'm not going to tell you what it is yet. Uh, I do have it. Uh, I just don't want to announce it yet in, in case it dies during quarantine, <laughs> which would be catastrophic. <laughs> so I'm not going to tell you what it is, but I'll just say that it also sleeps in the sand. Uh, so let me know if you could guess uh, uh, guess the name of the fish in the comment section uh, below. Okay, with that, let's uh, start the SBS tour. First up is the Aura Hawkins Echinata. I do love this color. It's this uh, teal or turquoise, kind of generally suck at naming colors, but <laughs> I do love it. And it's just, it's a very unique piece that I think it's like a must have for any SPS collection. Uh, next up is Reefraft Magma. This actually was a survivor from uh, uh, last summer. This should be orange, you know, hot, hot red, reddish colors, but I think it will, you know, take some time to recover and color up. But you do see some of that coming in the tips. I did get another big R Walt Disney. I do love uh, tenuous Acroporas, and you'll see that I have quite a few of uh, them in my collection. Uh, hopefully this one grows pretty fast because it's a tiny, 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 like half inch rag. Uh, next up is Jason Fox Fox Flame. I uh, really love the colors here, pink with the neon uh, uh, yellow orange tips. Uh, and generally my experience, this thing uh, grows really well. Then we have TSA Princess Peach. This, uh, I believe, is a tabling Acropora, and I put it in a spot where it should table out over kind of uh, open water, so it will create this effect of uh, being suspended in midair, which I think is pretty neat. Then we have another tenuous, I believe, Refraft Lady in Pink. This is a blue tenuous with kind of pink uh, polyps. Uh, Frag hasn't fully colored up yet, uh, but you know when, when you see these in other people's tanks, they're generally pretty uh, colorful and, and they're very hairy, so they create a lot of movement for an SPS. Then we have Refract Pink Cadillac. Uh, this not only survived all of the craziness of the uh, Waterbox 180, this originally came from my Red Sea Reefer 250. So uh, pink caddies are like uh, tough, man. <laughs> then we have Refract Holy Grail. 
This looks a lot like CC Orange Sherbert. If you have both, do let me know if they're the same thing because uh, I believe that it looks kind of identical to the Orange Sherbert. Then I got another frag of uh, Jason Fox Joel. This is another kind of blue tenuous with orange polyps. So far, the orange uh, reddish polyps have stayed. It's still pretty small, but hopefully it, it grows uh, uh, fast for me. Then we have a survivor from the summer, uh, Sunset Millie. Uh, doesn't look like a Sunset Millie. You don't see any polyps. The colors are pretty yucky, but uh, I think it, it takes, it, it's kind of funny because you know when you get a frag and it's colorful, it usually stays colorful. Uh, but for the survivors, they've been some of them has taken a long time to kind of recover. Uh, here's here's a frag of Pikachu. Uh, do love the kind of the white base with the neon uh, uh, yellow tips. I, I think it's a very kind of uh, cool combination. Then I got a Green Goblin and Acropora. I put that like almost at the sand bed because all of my attempts to keep an Acropora in the water box on the top shelf have like they generally have not been happy. Uh, but so far so good it's been uh, really doing well on the bottom here then i have this uh, fg ultimate strawberry shortcake uh, it's got like hot pink tips and this lovely like uh, green uh, base uh, i do love strawberry shortcakes in general and, and this ultimate ssc i think if it if it grows fast it's going to be fantastic this is a new no-name coral acropora florida but it, it does have a very unique kind of pattern with the purple tips and the green base uh, almost like a reverse bonsai, but a very different growth pattern. So when, when I saw it in uh, a, a friend's tank, I, I had to have it. So this, I'm not sure what it is. Actually, do let me know what you think it is. Uh, it, it, I did get a frag from my buddy Wally. He doesn't know what it's called. I don't know what it's called, but the colors are amazing. And this thing kind of survived all the ordeals. Okay, very, very special piece, SKA Jackpot. It's another blue uh, tenuous with blue tips, uh, green base, and uh, lovely red polyps. So far, it's been, the, color has, the colors have stayed and it's looking killer. So can't wait uh, for this to grow up. Uh, of course, I had to get another refraff Mar Marvin the Martian. Uh, do love the uh, very polypy colonies and uh, you just see the polyps kind of waving in, in the current. It's, it's a very special piece. Of course, I had to get another refraft orange passion. This thing is still kind of coloring up, but you could kind of see the core orange passion colorations coming in. Then we have Refraft Wowzers. This is a survivor also, uh, so it did kind of lose a bit of color, but uh, it's coming back. Uh, uh, this, uh, not really seeing the neon polyps yet, but uh, hopefully we'll, we'll get them soon. Then I have a Banana Acropora, Acropora Locani. Uh, do love just how bright the uh, yellow is on that coral, and the growth patterns are pretty unique, so we're very happy that I was able to get this piece. Then we have, uh, not sure what this is, again, this is another coral that I got from uh, my neighbor Wally. It's got very, very deep dark blue, which makes it unique. Uh, when I got it, it had like neon uh, yellow polyps or green polyps, but uh, I, maybe they'll come back as it recovers. Uh, then I got Refraff Shazam. I'm really excited about this. It kind of looks like an Ice Fire Echinata, <laughs> but hopefully... Uh, it's it's like you don't you're not getting the white but like that you're getting the blue tip so it, it's I don't know hopefully it grows out and, and keeps the colors uh, this is an or Oregon tort uh, again very unique blue uh, a little bit like nicer than Cali torts in my humble opinion so if you could uh, get a hands on an Oregon tort do get it uh, this is a survivor uh, Tyree pink lemonade it survived all the weird Dino outbreaks uh, and it's been doing really well again very lovely uh, color pattern with the pink uh, polyps and the lemonade uh, yellowish green uh, color this is jason fox solar flare it uh, needs to color up a little bit but you could kind of see the the hot <laughs> the hot red coral lights uh, uh, and and the green polyps so we'll, we'll we'll see we'll see how it develops uh, then another kind of unknown uh, frag from uh, uh, wally's tank i believe this is acropola Laura Pease, uh, I think my cat wants to be in my YouTube video. Uh, love the growth pattern. This, in theory, should table that. And uh, yeah, very, very excited for how it's going to look. Uh, got another TGC Cherry Bomb. Uh, very lovely coral. When I when I saw this in uh, Apes Tank, Apes from Coral Euphoria, I, of course, I had to like get my hand on one because it's a very lovely uh, colony. 
Uh, this is pretty unique. I, I don't think I've ever seen anything like it before. It's called a Northern Lights Acropora Granulosa. It's kind of got a white base with like purplish, bluish tips. Very kind of interesting color palette. Then I got an Ultimate Rainbow Loom. Not sure if it's really any different from your typical Rainbow Loom, but so far it's geyser, it's got like nicer colors on the tip, on the tips. Uh, but we'll see, we'll see. Could just be a marketing gimmick. <laughs> uh, then we have Bonsai Acropora Valida. Again, very common coral, but uh, it's got really deep like purples and, and the neon green pops just kind of make it pop. Then we have TSA Bill Murray. Uh, this looks a little bit faded because in fact it did drop on the sand bed. The snail kicked it over and it stayed there for like a couple of days upside down. So it wasn't happy, but uh, you can see the colors are coming back. I believe this is the same thing as uh, Jimmy Bean. Uh, then I have an Aura Red Planet. This should also tape a lot uh, into uh, open water, created this kind of suspended colony effect. Uh, so fingers crossed. Then I got a Vivid's Confetti. Uh, this is a very interesting piece. It kind of looks like a strawberry shortcake, but uh, it's not just pink. You're getting some purples, uh, mauve, if that's... <laughs> If that's the color, <laughs> so it's 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 a lot more diverse uh, relative to a strawberry shortcake. Uh, then we have a green slimer again, very like inexpensive coral, but I think it adds a lot of color and and structure to uh, uh, to uh, to an SPS tag, especially you know, like the growth patterns are fairly unique. Then we have uh, ARC Proximal. At first sight, it looks a little bit like Pac-Man, but I think it's got more interesting colors on the tips and and. Uh, uh, more pop on the on the neon uh, uh, relative to uh, Pac-Man, so that's a collection. You know, so I, I tried to go for uh, some solid, inexpensive corals that just have really lovely single colors, and then a mix of the more more expensive multicolored things like uh, the tenuouses and and uh, and the strawberry shortcakes and 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 that sort of thing. Uh, so let me know what you think of the collection. I, I do have a few spots left. So if I'm missing a couple of really important uh, uh, SPS that you that you guys think I should have, do let me know in the comments. Uh, and that's it. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Enjoy your reef. I'll uh, I'll try to give you more regular updates on the, on the Waterbox 180. All right. Have a good one. See you later. Bye.